Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how you can digitally sign a PDF document with Power Automate. We are all in the modern digital age. Many businesses are turning to electronic documents, mainly PDFs, to streamline their workflows and improve efficiency. That being said, with electronic documents comes the need to secure them in a reliable way. When I say secure them in a reliable way, the best way to secure a document is to add a digital signature. However, there are very limited connectors in Power Automate which can help you do it. Here, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and give you a custom connector which you can use for signing documents or I can say PDFs in SharePoint Online using Power Automate. So how this will work? And most importantly, no code required, okay? So I select a document, I click on the three dots, I go into Power Automate, and here, my friends, you will see a digital signature flow. This will open the flyer, and here I can import a certificate. I can import my own self-signed certificate, or you can go ahead and import a certificate from the digital from a certified authority. I'm going to pass it a password and I'm going to run the flow. The flow runs in the background and once the flow completes, you'll see that a document is created in this folder. So if I go to my flow, you see that the flow has started a few seconds ago. Yes, my friends, I'm not going to go ahead and show you the flow as of now. Why? Because we are going to create it. So let's just wait for the flow to complete. And once it's completed, I want to show the signed document. So my flow succeeded. And here, if you see, a document appears. I'll download the document and open it in a PDF viewer and show you how it actually looks. So let me go here and let me open it in the folder. And let me open this particular document. And here, my friends, you see that the document has been signed successfully by using Power Automate. Isn't this awesome? So without wasting any further time, let's build the solution. To build the solution, I'm going to go ahead and use a demo tenant. So it's a clean tenant. So what's the prerequisite? We are going to use the Passport PDF APIs. The Passport PDF APIs provides multiple functions. One of the function is digitally signing the PDF. So first things first, you need to sign up for this product. So once you go ahead and sign up, you can choose the subscription of your choice. And depending on what you need, you can go ahead and use it. So let's go back and look at the API definition, right? So most important for us is the digital signature. So what does, so we have this API and this API can be used to sign the document. So if you have been using Power Automate a lot, you can create a flow which looks something like this. So basically you are going to go ahead and do a post request and hit the endpoints. Then you will need to pass the JSON and then similarly go ahead and pass the output to the action below it. If you see, this is quite cumbersome and can be confusing at times. So we don't want to go ahead and create complex power automates. We want to go ahead and empower the power users or your citizen developers. So how can we do that? The easiest way to do that is to use a custom connector. Now for this particular demo, we I'm not going to go ahead and provide you a full fledged Passport PDF API custom connector. Maybe in the future, yes, but as of now, we are going to work only with digital signatures. So that being said, let's create a connector. So I'll click on custom connector. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a custom connector from an open API file. Don't worry, my friends, I'm going to give you the custom connector or the download link to this custom connector. Right, so I'll say passport 
PDF. So let me upload an image and I'll click on open. And that's pretty much it. You don't need to change anything because I have done, I have created this custom connector for you. And you click on create. Perfect. So I can click on close and I can start building my flow. So before I start building my flow, let's go into the SharePoint and let's create a SharePoint document library. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to site contents and let me create one. Let's create this document library and say, right, and then I'll create a folder. Uh, I'll create a folder so that this can store the original documents, so signed documents, right? That's pretty much good. Next, what I want to do, I want to go into my Power Automate and create an instant flow because I need a way to go ahead and pass in the certificate. So what's the trigger that I'm going to use? I'm going to use the SharePoint trigger and I want to say for a, for a selected file. And here, my friends, I'm going to pass it this particular site collection. So it's going to be the root site collections. So this is the one and I'm going to pass it the signature. Right here, I'm going to create a file type of input. So I'll name it certificate. And next, what I'm going to create, I'm going to create a text type of input. And I'm going to say certificate password okay and next I'm going to make this field required and that's pretty much it next what I'm going to do I'm going to get the file properties so I'll say SharePoint and I'll say get file properties to this again I'm going to pass in my SharePoint and here I'm going to pass it the signature and here I'm going to pass it the ID next I'm going to again add SharePoint and this time I need to get the file content the actual file content right so file content so get file content select the site and select the identifier here it's the output of the get file properties action so next what I'm going to do I'm going to click on new action and I'll click on custom and here my friends my custom connector is here so firstly, I need to load the document, right? So first things first, if you don't have a connection, you need to create a connection and put in your API key. I have not put in the API key in here. I've just skipped that part because that's confidential. But if it prompts you for an API key, just create a connection. Next, I need to pass it the file content. So the document is loaded. Now, here I have seen that if your document is a little bit complex, it might take a little bit time for it to load. So what you can do is you can delay your flow by 45 seconds so, so that the document completes loading. Once you do that, you can again go to custom and you can click on passport. And here, my friends, now that you have loaded the document, you can digitally sign the document. How will you digitally sign the document? First things first, you need to identify the file. So you need to pass it the file ID, which is the output of the document action. You need to pass it the certificate data. So what will return as the certificate data? That is the trigger for a selected file. And then you also need to pass in the certificate password. And that's passed, and that will be returned by the trigger itself. So this looks good. Now I have signed the document, right? I have signed the document. Next, what I want to do, I want to go ahead and save the document. To save the document, again, I'm going to use the passport PDF save document option. And here, my friends, what document I want to save? I doc want to save the document that is signed and loaded. So I'm going to give it the field ID, which is the output of the document action. So I'll click, I'll type in SharePoint and I'll say create. So I'll say create file, site collection. This time I'll select the folder. So the folder is signature, but I want to add it within the signed document. I want to pass, give the file a name. So let's say that I want to, I'll give it the name. I'll say underscore signed. 
dot pdf and i'll give it the file content or i'll give it the data right data is returned by the saved document next what i want to do is i want to use the custom connector and close the document from the remote viewer so what i can do is i can then give it the file id so the file id is the output of the document load action perfect so this looks good i'll save my flow and let me upload a file so i'll select the document i'll click on the drop down i'll click on power automate and here my friends you see the signature demo here i'm going to pass in my certificate so if it's the first time it will ask you the permissions so you can click on continue i'll say import i'll import my pfx certificate i'll give the password associated with the certificate and i'll say run flow so once i click select the run flow if everything works as expected this flow should start it's running if you see and if we are able to sign the document it should go ahead and create a document in this particular folder so it has loaded the document so that's good as of now it's the delay is kicking in so let's wait for the delay to complete i think i added 45 seconds perfect so it has worked as expected so let's go back let's refresh this folder let me download this file and let's see the output so yes it seems that it is signed and here my friends the document has been signed successfully so congratulations you have created your own power automate no code solution and signed a document i hope this tutorial was beneficial thank you for your time bye bye